Hello, everyone. Good morning. How are you all? Fine. So welcome and welcome to the fourth today's session. Mrs. Meenala Satyamurthy here from Excel Academy. And so now what's waiting for all of you? Interesting, of course, nothing. There's not a day when it cannot be interesting for you. Every day is interesting, full of fun. And for learning is always fun. Learning is always good. And what's the interesting part? Yes. Yes. Now, this is the most interesting part that I always tell you. Logical reasoning is the foundation for understanding and interpretation of laws. How beautifully put across. Logical reasoning is the foundation for understanding and interpretation of laws. And now the English language is your tool to master the law. Wow, we're hitting two birds with one stone. So you want to know logical reasoning? You have to know English language. To know English language and master in logical reasoning, come on, join our CSEET free crash course to prepare well for logical reasoning and English. Get free notes, quizzes, and mock tests as soon as you sign up. What's more, do not wait. The time is up. Start. We are already on the fourth day today for English especially logical reasoning has already started. So we're already on the fourth day. And so just don't wait. Every minute is precious. Time is absolutely precious, much more precious than your gold or diamond. So it just slips away like the sand slipping away from your fingers. So do not wait, join immediately, courtesy, Excel Academy, Excel that offers excellent services at every point for your future to be excellent. So now I tell you best is yet to come. So wait, so let's move on. Now, what do I have in store for you today? The very first thing I think this week I shall do with, uh, I shall see how the progress is on. So now this here, I am with you all to do up the, sorry, to do up the RC, that is the reading comprehension, recapitulating the five important steps, scan the questions, then scan the, uh, this thing, passage, you cannot, this thing, remember first passage is the main idea, last passage is your the summarizing, the conclusion, the vocabulary, you have to look in for words. So that's what we are all doing here. So with that interest in mind, I have dealt with passages so far. And now, so here I am. So wait for a second before I zoom in. Yes. So it's about eating, so interesting. Passages are really interesting, let me tell you very clearly. Take it up in the right spirit and it will just come at the click of a button like you click your mouse on the computer or the laptop. So it's just at the click of a button, except that you have to have that direction for solving the comprehension passages. It's about eating, you may love to read, but remember you are doing a competitive exam and remember you have time is at your, this thing. So we shall not waste time, we shall move ahead. So it says scan the questions. Which of the following was not part of the study? Then it says, which of the following was part of the findings of the study? It says, and then find the synonym of the words as found in the passage. Here purposefully, I did not give any choice because of the fact that the passage is pretty simple. So I took a simpler passage today, everyday brainstorming you with a little difficult one, it's better to alter. So variety is the spice of life. So one monotonous thing makes you boring. So let me alter so that you can, you know, feel refreshed and save. And when you do something, it motivates you to do better. So with that intention, I picked up this. 
So the first one says, which of the following was not part of the study? Remember, there is this word, not. It was not a part of the study. So question reading must be really perfect. Providing students with smartphones, asking students to list the food they consume, linking that data about food to test scores. Let's see. Okay. Eating quality breakfast actually boosts performance for kids, okay? Discovered the odds of achieving an above average educational performance were up to twice as high for children who ate breakfast compared with those who didn't eat breakfast. They also found eating unhealthy things for breakfast like chips or sweets didn't boost performance. So in the next one also you go, aspects of what people eat and how they do well. The third paragraph also says, ask them what to list and what they ate. Then they link the performance to their score. Was it providing smartphones? We do not have anywhere smartphones here. Asking students to list the food they consumed? Yes, that's the last sentence of the paragraph. Linking data about food to test scores? Yes, then they link the information to the test scores. So which of the following was not a part of the study is nothing but A. So providing students with smartphones. The whole passage is about food. The whole passage is about linking the fact how children performed when they had their breakfast to children who did not have their breakfast. So it is a direct link and that's the study. So there's nothing to do with smartphones. So what was not part of the study providing students was with smartphones. So, so simple. Yes, next. Which of the following was part of the findings of the study? Remember, that's why I every class I tell, read the question very carefully. Here, smart work plus presence of mind is something that is absolutely essential. Look at the first one, which said was not part of the study. But here, which, all, which of the following was part of the findings of the study? It's just not study, mind you. Findings of the study. That one word can change the whole thing. So findings of the study, just not part of the study. So please, please, and please be careful while you read the questions. You have been given that big margin of scanning the passage, which we weren't allowed to do during our times. Now here it is computative, so you work smarter, though it is hard work at the back of the screen. So here, which of the following was part of the findings of the study? Wow, that's important. So let's see the options. Breakfast should include both sweet and savory items. Savory is all your namkeen spice items. Children who consume breakfast on average tend to perform better in tests than those who do not. Consuming unhealthy food for breakfast does not enhance test scores. So we have to go back. Now this, I always tell you, you do not have. So now what happens? First line, there is nothing. Now in the second line, there is something like called a discovered. So your mind should go to that. Odds of achieving an above average educational performance were twice who ate breakfast compared to this. They also found eating unhealthy did not boost performance. So you found something. And then how this significant, this thing. Okay, now let's see what happens. So this also they found, okay? And they also discovered that this part. So you can see this, which I have highlighted over here. 
Breakfast includes sweet and savory. Children who consume breakfast on average tend to perform better in tests than those who do not. Consuming unhealthy food for breakfast does not enhance test scores. Didn't boost performance. So where have they spoken about it should include sweet or savory? They've just used the word healthy. They've used sweets and savory, yes. They view sweets and savory. Chips is savory and sweets you have. So they have included. And then healthy breakfast they've included. Didn't eat breakfast they've included. Unhealthy things like sweets and then they've included. So breakfast should include. Look at that. Let me get back to repeat to you. They also found eating unhealthy things for breakfast like chips or sweets didn't boost performance. They never said they should include. Breakfast should include. Look at that usage of the word should. Should include both sweet and savory items. Children who consume breakfast on average tend to perform better. Consuming unhealthy food for breakfast does not enhance test scores this thing. So in this, which of the following was part of the findings of the study? Second one is true. Yes. And third one is true. So that was the part of the findings of the study. So your answer will be B because second is also true and third is also true. They never said it must include. They never told you it should have. No, those who consume. So uh, I repeat for those who are switching on for the first time. I repeat for those who are listening for the first time. Read the question of the comprehension passages quite or rather carefully. Because that gives you the real clue. Yes, that's the thing. So now, as I told you, let's go on to this. Find the synonyms of the words as found in the passage. You always have MCQ types only. You have four choices. You are very lucky to make those uh, four choices. So it is always MCQ type only. But this time I said, no, let me also give you some practice without MCQ. Not that it is going to come like this, but then it's always better. I always tell you, you know, a broader vision, have a broader outlook. And then you know very well when to narrow it down because I'm telling you how to narrow it down. So nothing to get frightened, but just a little practice will not make anything. It's not a loss for you. That I can assure you, because when I prepare or when I do a paper, when I do something with an intention, it's just with a very honorable intention that the students should do their best. And that it's a competitive exam. Take care, it says. So let's see. Improve. Find the synonyms of the words as found in the passage. The first one is improve. Okay, eating a quality breakfast actually boosts school performance. So improve. You got your first word here itself. It improves school performance for kids in Wales, a new study shows. So boost is the first one. Okay, came across. So remember, I have used the word came across. I didn't use come across, which means to say when I've used came across, I, that means to say the word is in the past tense. If the word is in the present tense, I would have put come across. So if since the word is in the past tense, I have used the word came across. Now, what is it that they came across? Proof and features, yes. Discovered, discovered. 
came across the odds of achieving an above average educational performance. They found out. So that is the one which says came across. So here it is discovered. So discovered need not actually be, which is already there and then they found. They, when they studied, they came across these evidences. It can even mean to that because we here are referring to the contextual meaning. This you should remember very clearly. A word can have different meanings for a different context. So please take care. In the comprehension passage, we are quite particular that we refer to the contextual meaning only. Now, that is why vocabulary. So you should be able to utilize that in the contextual meaning as well as in different kinds of other meanings too. So this is your answer. The next one. Proof. So proof is nothing but strongest proof. So you have strongest evidence. So proof and for you people evidence is such a common term you're all into your uh, other uh, subjects which you have studied in the legal aspects so you are so well accustomed to it habituated to it so you know very well it's evidence that's why i said i'm not i did not purposely put up this the last one features now, what are the words that says? So this study offers the strongest ed evidence yet of links between aspects of what pu pu pupils eat, between the features of what pu pupils eat, how well they do at school has significant implications for education and public health policy. So nowhere else you have such words. And so this is the answer. Hence, I try to, uh, I definitely did not put the MCQ type. So, yes, I have done this passage for you today. So, that's your RCT. Okay, fine. Now, today, as I'm telling you, I have taken a little bit different ones. Uh, I'm not going into the other ones. So, yes, wait for me to zoom and wait for me to highlight. I know very well because most of you may be watching through, you know, things that uh, may not provide you with uh, this kind of uh, see this thing. If in the laptop, you can see well, but here, yes. So I shall. Yes. Now, this can be asked for you. That's how I put it across. That's how I took up this. This is an exercise on vocabulary. Vocabulary on its own is pretty big. It's a pretty big chapter for you. Vocabulary enriching exercise. One second, I shall use the whiteboard to show you. Now, under vocabulary, this is a very important term that you have. So here, ample that you get onto. If you really see your portions, you might have synonyms. You will have antonyms. Okay, you will have your homo phones, homo uh, graph or homo nymphs or whatever it is that you shall have. You'll have plenty of those. And then you shall have uh, various kinds of vocabulary which can have uh, meanings and uh, make sentences with that. So it's a huge chapter. And sometimes the word may be a verb actually might change into a noun form. So nom, it is that also you can have. So for example, you have the word act, it can change into action depending upon the sentence. So vocabulary as such forms a very big uh, chapter for you. So what I have done is I have, of course you have prefix, suffix, 
all those coming up and that's in abbreviations and all that is there. So in spite of that, I have taken few exercises so that I will deal with it every day. So what happens when I told you that you have, no, I don't want this. Leave it, it's there as a green mark. Oh, I should have put it. Okay. So when I say that uh, part where it has, uh, I was talking to you about where it has different meanings are the verbs. Now, the when I said act, it changes into action, I said. Precise, it can become precision. If it is affirm, it can become affirmation. If it is assert, it can become assertion. So all these are their varieties. So this now, if it is even the word active, So if it's the word active, it can also be actively. I should increase the thickness of the pen so that it will be better for you. Yes. OK. So if it is active, it could be actively. It is enthusiastic. it can become enthusiastically. So this way you can be asked. So based on that part, I have given you the vocabulary exercises. I shall be doing it with you. Now let's erase this and go back to the exercises. Yes. Oh, no, sorry. Complete the sentences using the appropriate form of the word given in the brackets. The doctor's dash of the patient took an R, examine. So examine is a verb. The doctor's examination of the patient. He examined the patient. The doctor's examined of the patient cannot be there. So it is doctor's examination. So let me put blog, this thing, caps lock, because it can be seen properly. Examination of the patient took an R. Vaccination makes a person immunity to various viral disease. Vaccination makes a person immunable to various viral disease. Oh, no, I cannot move if this is there. Sorry. One second, please excuse me. Two minutes. Oh, no. Okay. Did you have a dash journey, comfort journey? It cannot be. So it will be 
what is known as comfortable journey. Did you have a comfortable journey? So let me write the answer. C-O-M-F-O-R-T-A-B-L-A, comfortable journey. The people impatiently arrived, waited for the dash of the train. So this will change into arrival of the train. He showed remarkable dash in executing. This is the problem. Yes. Remarkable dash in executing the plan is nothing but intelligent. So you cannot say intelligent. It is intelligence. Okay. Owing to engine trouble, the dash of the train was delayed by an hour. Owing to the in engine trouble, the departure of the train, the departure of the train. The government requested the dash of the people. What did the government request? Cooperate of the people? No, cooperation of the people. The girl looked at a dash in the mirror. You look at your reflection in the mirror. So it's the word reflect. It's a verb. So you add ION. It becomes a noun there. You do not worry about what it becomes or what it doesn't become. But please understand that it can change its form. That's what I'm trying to bring into your notice. Cooperate, cooperation. Intelligent, intelligence. Comfort, comfortable. Now reflect, reflection. I cannot find any dash between these two colors. Now it says different. So it would be difference. So please note this very carefully. How the words change different to difference. If you follow my advice, you will succeed. S U double C double E D succeed. It is success. They could not execute the plan successfully. I told you very clearly that you can get words like that. I'll show you. So here it can be, I cannot find any difference. Now, if you follow my plan, you will succeed. Okay. They could not execute the plan successfully. Okay, we can increase the fertility of the soil, fertility of the soil by using fertilizers. What's the base word there? Fertile, fertile, fertility, success, succeed, successfully, different, difference, differently also can be there. Comfort, comfortable, comfortably also can be there. Intelligent, intelligent dense intelligently so remember these can have that kind of words so with that intention i brought in this exercise now here you may have the options too the mcqs may be there if it is not there also you will be aware because you can do it. There's nothing very great difficulty about it, but know very well that you can follow this. So that is a thing. Examination, immunity, immunable, immunization. Immunization is what we has been done. Comfortable, comfortably. Arrive, arrival. Intelligence, intelligently. Then depart, departure. Cooperate, cooperation, reflect, reflection, different, difference, success, succeed, successfully, fertility, fertilization, Fertil fertile, fertility, fertilization. So all these are possible. So this again comes back under vocabulary too. That's why I did it. Now, there are certain questions in the grammar part that has been asked for you in this manner too, using the if.
Yes. If you come with me, I will do the shopping for you. Walter will help his mother in the garden if she reads him a story in the evening. There is something that is very similar over here. Now, let's go to the next one. If it rains, stop. If it rains, I will stay at home. A teacher will be happy if we learn the poem by heart. Now, till four, can you see a pattern? Okay. If you come with me, I will do the shopping with you. Walter will help his mother in the garden if she reads him a story this evening. Now, let me explain. Okay. It says Walter will help his mother. If she reads the story, have you seen reads and will help? So if one sentence is in the usage of will, the other is just reads, speaks, talks, walks, runs, heats, boils, sings, dance. That means to say what? If one sentence is in the form of will plus the verb, let me write verb, the other one will automatically be simple present. So that is the thing. So in that case, you will have to be a little careful. So if it is will help here, it will automatically be simple present tense over here. So that is the thing. So you should be aware of this thing here. So that's what I wanted to tell you. So let me underline this. You will know. Yeah, I will explain to you once again. Today, the thickness is less. Anyway, I'll alter it later. Do not worry. Right now, let's manage. I'm sure it should be clear. Okay. So here you see, if you come with me, if you come with me, I will do the shopping with you. Walter will help his mother in the garden if she reads the story. So that is the way it is. Yes, again, can you see? If it rains, if it rains, I will stay at home. A teacher will be happy if we learn the poem by heart. So the first one is where you have two actions and with the condition if so now if one is with will the other one will automatically be simple present tense will plus the verb that's all will run will sing will dance will teach will play and decide whatever it is now you go to the fifth one there is a slight difference all this while i said will plus the verb and then you'll have the simple present tense. But you go to the fifth one, see the difference. If they had enough money, they would buy a new car. They would have bought a new car. If they had enough money, they would have bought a new car. OK, we would pass the we would have passed the examination or we would if we studied harder. So this indicates past tense. 
this if they had enough money they would they would have bought a new car they would have done something we would have passed the exams if we studied harder if pat repaired his bike he would have gone on a bicycle tour with us she would get 100 pounds if she sold this shelf so if they had enough money they would buy a new car we would pass the examination if we studied harder if pat repaired his bike he would go on a bicycle tour with us she would get 100 pounds if she sold this old shelf one is the will and the verb the other is simple here it is past and here it is nothing but w o u l d by we would pass the examination okay he would go okay she would get 100 pounds if she sold that's one pattern next so there is something again that we have to this thing now if i were you i would invite jack if i was you we never say if i were you if the weather is fine the children can walk to school if tracy had a mobile phone she would phone all her friends if i were if i if i was no i am sorry i am very angry with nick if he forgets my no sorry sir i would be very angry with nick i will be very angry with nick if he forgets my cd again if the boys win this match now they have combined previously you had present and future you had past and the future now they have combined both i will be very angry with nick if he forgets my cd again if the boys win this match their coach will invite them to a barbecue if you don't read this articles you will not know the fact about africa you would get very wet if you walked in this rain the engine would not start if ben the engine would not have started if ben the engine will not start the engine would not start if ben connected these two would not have started if ben connected if he has time he would buy her some sweets the engine would would not start yes would not start if ben connected these two cables if he has time he would buy her some sweets maria will dash in the school orchestra if she practice maria would play in the school orchestra if she practice we wouldn't fetch something to drink if jim would not bring some sandwiches if he would carry the backpack i would pull the suitcase so today what i have done is i have dealt with two types so let me show the two types and tell you so in the two types i have used one is will plus verb and the other one would be simple present tense of the verb in the other one it is would plus verb and it will be sorry the past 
tense of the verb. So this will be combined with if. So this is about if clause. This two types I've taught. One is the positive, one is the negative. So whatever it is, will plus verb, simple present tense, would plus la, if she would do, then she had not. So this time it will be there. There might be also a negation for it. Negation saying that it cannot be done. So these are the things that I wanted to share with you today regarding if I cannot do it regular uh, every put together, I cannot do it on one day. So I just brought these together. I'll clear the board so that, uh, yeah, yeah, this is better. Yeah, so this way it would be done. So you have both positive as well as negative. So it's all conditional. It can be, it can happen or it cannot happen. So that is the thing. So this is the one which I wanted to do. So I've done the two types plus here I've dealt with the vocabulary. I've dealt with the vocabulary. So you can do these exercises. It's very helpful. At the same time, when we do the papers, it's going to be of great help. Now the next one. Yes, please wait. I shall zoom. Yes. I might not be able to do everything, but then still. Yes. Fill in the right blanks using the right choice given in brackets. Get up, my son. So S-U and son, S-O and son. So you know very well the answer would be S-O and son. You ought to have said it long ago. O-U-G-H-T. Boys float on what in the sea to warn ships of danger. B-U-O-Y-S. You must have seen on sea, you must have seen in the lakes at your places. Here we do see it in Bangalore. They do have this voice telling us not to go beyond that point. Pro to warn us about the danger, one thing. One thing is about the crocodiles existing in that deepest part. One thing also tell you that is extremely day. So they would have tied certain things. You'll see something rubberish like floating. It looked like a ball. The spelling is B-U-O-Y-S. He skidded because he did not apply the brake. So B-R-A-K-E. We must try our best to cast away all our prejudices. So it will be C-A-S-T. I did not have the heart. H-E-A-R-T. The hare has a short tail, H-A-R-E. The flesh of the kangaroo sells very dear. So D-E-A-R, it, it is very expensive. That's the meaning. The flesh of the kangaroo is extremely expensive. People do eat, I hope you know. He told me the tail of a fox, T-A-L-E. The travelers had a terrible journey through the torturous, torturous road. Torturous road, no, torturous road. The children have been playing 
for two hours, TWO. What is the price of it? P-R-I-C-E. Please pray for me, P-R-A-Y. Now, we peel the orange with a knife. So P-E-E-L, P-E-A-L. It is P-E-E-L. So we peel the orange with a knife. Please pause for a while. So here it will be, please pause for a while. Ma'am, you're too fast. Could you please pause for a while? Could you stop for a while? The time is half past. P-A-S-T, half past 10. Her face became pale because of fear. Actually, here Paul is used. It should have been P-A-I-L, not even Paul, P-A-I-L. P-A-I-L. This pale is due to fear. This P-A-I-L means bucket, bucket. So this means bucket, okay? Or is used to row the boat. It is O-A-R. Lead is a heavy metal, L-E-A-D. Every airport has a hangar, H-A-N-G-A-R. That is where the aeroplanes actually are stationed. For uh, ships, it's called harbor. For cars, you say garage. For airport, it's a hangar. Please remember this. There is a hole in the bucket, H-O-L-A. The strength for Achilles was on his heel, H-E-E-L. The other heel is cure. If you want to reach God, you have to forego, F-O-R-G-O. This is forget, you remember? Forget. So it is for go beforehand. So it is not that here. Foul bird does not fly in the air. Foul, F-O-W-L. This means foul. There's a foul, especially when you play football matches and all that. You get, oh, there's a foul. And then they're shown different colors of flags, red, blue, and whatever it is. So that is foul. She narrated a series of discrete events, events which were not very self-explanatory or which were not told before. So now nobody can hear what I tell here. So nobody can hear what I tell here. Dash desires in our village to become dash. So here, and no any none desires in our village to become a nun. She brushed away her dash when she learned her booking was confirmed in three. She brushed away her tear. T-E-A-R. When she was confirmed in three tire essay. So tire actually, tear, tire. Where, where, where were you till now? So where, where were you till now? I have not read the red cover book till now. In this, you remember, I had told you before also, R-E-A-D is in the present tense, is in the past tense, as well as in the third form or the past participle form, as it is called. But the pronunciation in the past tense goes for R-E-A-D, red. So it is, sorry, pronunciation goes for red, though the spelling remains the same. Though the spelling remains the same, the pronunciation goes to be different. So this is another exercise that I really wanted to do with you. The housemaid, M-A-I-D, was made to work, made D-E. They dash at the market, they meet at the market where they buy meat, M-E-A-T. So you can only probably get one question like this in your exam, but don't miss it. It's the easiest, I must say. Please don't miss it. It's the easiest. Last week, she was weak. So remember days of the week. So W-E-E-K. She was weak, weak. So W-E-A-K. 
Now, idle pe ideal people cannot show the ideal way to success. Ideal people cannot show the ideal way to success. That means to say, if you want to succeed in your life, you cannot be idle. If you ask an idealistic person to show the way to success, he or she would show you the way which requires a lot amount of work, a lot amount of concentration, a lot amount of effort too. So he cannot show the idle way. You cannot sit or sleep on the couch and say, oh, no issues. I can get the first rank unless and until you take the most torturous way or the tortured way, the difficult path to reach this, uh, this thing. The torturous and torturous, let me reconfirm. That's why I did not fill it up there. I did not want to uh, cut a sorry figure. I've just left it. I will let you know by tomorrow. There's nothing wrong in about it. So this was the thing that I wanted to give you exercise about so that you get a practice so that you are aware and these kind of questions are there but mind you at the most one two only because he's given lot of importance to your email correspondence asking meanings and all that i will definitely move on to that chapter there's nothing to worry at all but uh, this was a slightly easy one now all these days i have been doing a little tough one so i thought let me take it take this to you i actually wanted to start one more a slightly tougher one today i was prepared for it i'll just introduce and leave it because i am not going to go through its full explanation and this is a short short question for you this is a short short question for you they say read the sentence find out if there is any grammatical error in it their error if any if there is any error will be in one part of the sentence only the number of that part is the answer if there is no error it says no error too ignore the errors of punctuation if any you can ignore if this instruction is given Suppose the slash is given and they are given errors, uh, uh, punctuation, then you will have to do that also. I'll just start the first one and leave it at this point for today. I've been traveling by local train since last several years, but had never experienced such a horrible situation as this. No error. If you have noticed, last several years i have been traveling by local trains since last several years that's the error so number one is the errors for last several years for the past few years for the past last several years since last since will not come here since has been wrongly used so that is the error over here so the answer will be one so in case there was no error, you would have written five, which tells you no error. In case there was an error in two, you will have to write two. In case there was an error in three, you will say three. So whatever it is, I have been traveling by local trains and then they have given you the options. I'll show it to you how it is. So now what happens here is the error could be in tenses. The error could be in the usage of prepositions. The error could be in the usage of articles. The error could be in the usage of inappropriate words. And there could be no error. So here, your grammatical errors, grammatical knowledge, the applicative value of the grammatical knowledge plays a role. Mind you, all this has been done in detail for you. So if you pay a little attention and recapitulate and apply to this, you can really do well. Again, this could be just one or two questions, but then every one mark matters. Every one mark matters. So you get this right, you are again, you never know where that one mark can help you to reach. So that's the thing so this part i've just introduced because i have to explain to you everything 
I did the comprehension passages. I did the vocabulary part, the if clause two types I did. And then I also try to do the uh, homophones part of it. So this I have covered for today. Now, if I pick up this for you, it will become slightly too much. So these four days, whatever has been done, just assimilate and digest it. Rem reminding you all once again, look in through the videos, just go through it carefully. Please practice the passages and at least listen to how it is done and that will help you. I know you have a lot of work with you. There's a lot to read, but then this is one subject where the advertisement, the first is to the slide said, you want to know the logical interpretation of the law? Learn English well. So it is interconnected. So when it is interconnected, remember, you will have to have your base very clearly. So it's better to be safe than to be sorry. So now with that, I would like to go on to the best part for you people awaiting for you from the last one hour. This I had already showed you. Yes. Excel Academy at its peak does marvelous things. It asks you a simple question. Have you wondered how it is to be a company secretary? Have you really given a thought about it? Have you pondered what it really means? Yes. Then please watch our interview show on YouTube, the world of company secretaries. And now can you see who all are there? The world of company secretaries, company secretary of Karnataka Bank, CS Prasanna Patil. You have episode number 17. And then you have the world of company secretaries, PCS researcher, author, CS Gaurav, episode 19. You have the world of company secretaries, CS as head of business acquisition in asset reconstruction company, CS Ajay, episode 20. The world of company secretaries, a company secretary who built a 7,000 crore company. Wow. Had I known before, I would have joined this profession in stuff teaching here. CSDC Jane. And then the world of company secretaries, knowledge sharing to grow. CS practice, CS Divesh Goyal, episode 22. What inspiring people, what people you have, and you listen to them. These great personalities will tell you the path to success and what they have done and how it is, how is the feeling to be a company secretary. So get a glimpse into the lives of the top company secretaries. Subscribe the channel, the world of company secretaries for short clips from the interviews. What is this going to do? Oh, ample, ample. You will listen to their story and wonder, oh God, is this so? Then I should aim for it definitely. I am not going to let it down or neither leave a stone unturned. And I shall definitely go ahead and that will be the motivating spirit for you to do well and therefore remember you have to get the logical way of doing it and to get the logical way of doing it you have to know your english base extremely well that is why we are here and i always as say and bless thanks to and courtesy Excel Academy for doing excellent work. Hats off to them because I don't think I could have imagined myself doing such a work. Never. I'm a teacher in my life, but to do this much for the student's future, to visualize the student's mission and vision and build them up in their careers. So please watch the interview on YouTube. Do not forget. It's all two minutes, but what happens when you're reading continuously, you need a break. 
watch these because they are so informative and you get so much of knowledge your vocabulary your knowledge your level of language acquisition enhances so here's meenala satyamurthy signing off wishing and hoping that you will all imbibe this and take it to a very great way in your future thank you excel academy for the wonderful opportunity a very happy good afternoon and bye Thank <laughs> you.